Hi, I'm Susan Silver, and I've had the pleasure of managing Allison Chains since 1988. I'm so proud of the guys. This Founders Award is well deserved. The band and I have seen the world together, celebrated many successes, and mourned too many losses, including two of the original members of this band, Lane Staley and Mike Starr. After the 2004 tsunami hit Southeast Asia, the three remaining members came back together for a benefit to help the survivors. Their performance reignited their passion and purpose to be Alice in Chains. In 2005, they invited William Duvall into the band and they toured tirelessly for the next three years while new music of reclamation and healing brewed up inside them. In 2009, they released their first record since 1995. And that record and its title track are called Black Gives Way to Blue. When the record was finished, my then nine-year-old daughter Lily asked me, Mama, what does Black Gives Way to Blue mean? I suggested we call her Uncle Jerry and ask him. Jerry ever so patiently explained to Lily that sometimes there are very dark and challenging times in life, and it may seem like things will never get better. But if you stay strong and keep moving forward and look out on the horizon, you'll start to see a little point of light way out there, and slowly the black would give way to blue. He told her things would start to feel better and for her to hold on to hope and keep moving forward toward that light. Lily and I have kept this message close to our hearts. Lily has known her crazy uncles and Alice in Chains all of her 20 years. And tonight, 11 years after that call to Jerry, the band has invited her to make her musical debut, accompanied by one of her less crazy uncles, Chris DeGarmo of Queensryche. For me, this is one of life's most beautiful full circles. So it is with deep pride and gratitude that I introduce my daughter, Lily Cornell Silver. Take it away, baby. Just leave. 